Welcome to the multi-dimensions in cost accounting topic. In this topic, we will look at the option of using multi-dimensions when working with cost accounting. Note that this topic is based on the cost accounting topic. OEC Computers uses the cost accounting option in SAP Business One. In the past, they defined their three departments, sales, support, and development as cost centers. Now, while discussing the products OEC Computer Sell, the CEO tells you that they want to analyze revenues and expenses by the two lines of business they run, hardware and applications. They want to see the bottom line for each product line. The accountant claims that a better analytic view will be according to departments. That is sales, support and development. You tell them that they can analyze the same data according to the company departments and also per line of business. Multiple dimensions enable up to five different views to be generated on the same data. This option appears only after the Use Multi-Dimensions checkbox is selected on the Cost Accounting tab of the General Settings window under Administration System Initialization General Settings. To define dimensions choose Financials Cost Accounting Dimensions. In our example you can define the departments in the company as Dimension 1 and the lines of business as Dimension 2. For each dimension create cost centers and distribution rules that will match your reporting requirements. Note that each cost center and distribution rule belongs to only one dimension. When issuing the various reports choose the relevant dimension. Let us look at the company electricity cost. In the chart of accounts window, link the electricity costs account to the two dimensions, departments and lines of business. For each dimension define the relevant distribution rule. In the department's dimension it is the indirect rule that distributes the costs in accordance with the size of the department areas. In the line of business dimension the costs will be distributed among the number of employees in each cost center. In everyday work, each time you issue an expense to the electricity expense account, the amount will be automatically allocated to the different departments according to the distribution rule defined in Dimension 1. And in parallel, the same amount will be allocated according to the number of employees working for each line of business as defined in Dimension 2. You can then run the various reports and compare the analysis of costs and revenues per department versus per line of business. In the General Settings window, Cost Accounting tab, you can set the distribution rules display in marketing documents and journal entries. Select whether to display distribution rules of several dimensions in one column, separated by semicolon, or to display all active dimensions in separate columns. For more information regarding these two options, refer to the online help. You can change the radio button status at any time. The change only affects the way in which distribution rules are displayed, it does not affect the database. You can produce some standard reports for a specific dimension and distribution rule, for example, profit and loss statement, trial balance, and budget report. Choose financials cost accounting to run cost accounting specific reports. Cost center report to display an overview of the posted costs and revenues. Distribution report to get a picture of overhead expenses posted by specific transactions and the distributed amounts in each cost center. Cost Accounting Summary Report which includes journal vouchers and use hierarchies for desired report structure. Note that you can also run these reports according to a selected financial project. Use the Cost Center Hierarchy to define cost accounting report templates according to company needs. You can then use these templates in various reports. The template enables the data to be grouped in different ways. Based on how the data is grouped, management gets a better view of how the different parts of the organization are performing. Each hierarchy is directly related to one dimension, if dimensions are used in the company. For each dimension multiple templates can be created. You can define hierarchies with up to three levels. Cost centers can only be attached to the lowest nodes in the hierarchy. You can also use formulas to aggregate various cost centers. In the example presented, for the department's dimension, the sales and the support cost centers are grouped under the text title customer service and summed up using the subtotal option. Choose financials cost accounting cost center hierarchy to define and view cost accounting report templates. Here are some key points. Multiple dimensions enable up to five different views to be generated on the same data. This option appears only after the checkbox is selected on the cost accounting tab of the general settings window. For each dimension create cost centers and distribution rules that will match your reporting requirements. In the chart of accounts window, link the relevant accounts to the dimensions. For each dimension define the relevant distribution rule. In everyday work, each time you issue an amount to the expenditure or sales account, the same amount will be automatically allocated to the dimensions and their distribution rules in parallel. 
you can set the distribution rules display in marketing documents and journal entries. When issuing the various reports choose the desired dimension. You have completed the multi-dimensions in cost accounting topic. Thank you for your time.